welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing look number two featuring the Emily Noel 83, the Wants palette. That is this bad boy right here with all of these wonderful, amazing and bright colors. Hopefully I'm not giving you guys too much glare with the mirror here on top. As you can see, this mirror is huge and you're now seeing a bit of behind you guys, behind the scenes, what the rest of my room looks like here. Um, so yeah, the first look that we did was definitely more like dark green, kind of smoky, kind of sultry, which turned out really nice. Oh, by the way, there's a thunderstorm outside, so if you hear some rumblings, it's just the thunder. But as we are now September, um, I'm feeling a little bit basic. I'm feeling a little bit pumpkin spice, so I'm thinking we can do some sort of pumpkin spice inspired makeup look because why not? So before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe and also hit that little notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video. I honestly don't know when the word like basic became like negative. Like there's nothing wrong with being basic. I mean, this chapstick, this is like the Blistex chapstick. It's basic. It just hydrates my lips. It doesn't do anything else, but I like it. So let's all just be some basic Bettys and get this pumpkin spice latte eyeshadow look going. So grab your iced coffee your hot coffee, your tea if you want, and let's get started on this look. Now to start the look, I'm gonna dip into the shade called Midwest, and I'm gonna go in with this big fluffy brush, and this is going to act as our transition shade. So I'm just placing this here in the crease, and obviously everything has been primed and prepped, my eyebrows are filled in, and my makeup look is ready to go. So how are you guys doing? What's new with you guys? What's up? Anyone have anything new going on in their lives? Anything positive they want to share? Leave a comment down below. Is anyone going back to school? I know that most of the people that watch me are not like, I know like the back to school age is like young kids, but honestly most of my viewers are women in their 30s, 40s, and 50s plus. And it's never too late to go back to school, so is anyone going back to school for like a second career or anything let us know so this shade is quite light and it is our transition shade so you really don't have to be too precise you kind of just want it like a little bit everywhere in the crease and this will just help everything blend out more after we add more dark colors so now to get the look that i want i think i'm going to go into the shades called laugh cry and the love tons i think either one of these or maybe mix both of these together it will give me the orange pumpkin-y spice color that I'm looking for. I'm gonna go into Laugh Cry first and I'm gonna go ahead and use this little flat brush from MAC. I don't know what it's called. It used to have a number on it. It kind of like disintegrated into thin air. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this color here, Laugh Cry, and we're gonna place this, I would say, mm, on the outer third of the eye here. That's definitely brighter than I thought it would be. Okay, we'll work with it. And I think that's about the two-thirds of the outer eye. That's okay. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and place this all over the lid. So there is a tiny bit of fallout right here with the shade called Laugh Cry, which is fine because we're gonna do the face makeup afterwards. So and now taking a more narrowed blending brush, I'm gonna go into the shade called Love Tons and I, this time I swear, I'm actually going to be more precise and just pack it here on the outer corner and then we're gonna use a separate brush to blend it out. separate blending brush and we are blending. Have you guys been to the movies lately? I went to see that movie Crazy Rich Asians and it was really good. Like I haven't I haven't read the book yet, I'm gonna read it next, but it's really good. It was like, you know, it's a rom com, so it's not like um, an Oscar award winning movie, but like for what it was, it was really good. I also really wanted to go see The Incredibles 2, but I never managed I don't know, I just like didn't get to go see it. I don't think it's playing anymore in theater, so I'll probably just like stream it at some point. But yeah, have you guys been to the movies lately? What are you guys going to see? Coffee break. So I've been going back and forth between packing more color and blending it out, and I feel like it's not giving me as much orange as I thought it would. I might go back into Laugh Cry because that one is definitely more orange. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and go back into this big fluffy brush and kind of just like blend this out a little bit more. I think what I'm gonna do is go back into Laugh Cry and just pack a bit more on and also go to a little bit higher and just blend that out and just hopefully that stays a bit more pumpkin. 
So I think I'm gonna go into the shade called Dews Paid, which looks like a nice, light, warm brown. So maybe that will warm it up because I feel like Laugh Cry is like more of the warm orange color that I want, but I kinda wanna keep warming it up to stay in the pumpkin spice esque inspiration. So I feel like Love Tons maybe didn't turn out how I thought it would. Like Love Tons definitely it looks more pink and red, which is not exactly what I'm going for. But this just goes to show that sometimes you start an eyeshadow look and it doesn't really go how you want it to, but it's okay. We can keep blending, we can keep adding. There's there's always a way out, okay? So taking this brush, I dipped into Dew's Paid and I'm gonna place this in the crease here. Now whatever's left in this brush, I'm going to sweep it under the lashes. And you must do an obligatory derp face as you do this. Sometimes I just talk when I place this under my lashes. Otherwise, when I'm editing the video, I just see myself going like for a few seconds, so yeah. I just dipped very lightly into Midwest again, and then I'm just going to help blend this out a little bit. Okay, so I kind of like what's going on. I don't know if it's exactly pumpkin spice, but it's still pretty cute. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the shade called Top Story. It's that gold kind of shimmery shade. Maybe that'll add a bit more spice to this look. Let's see. So I went ahead and sprayed this little tapered brush with some setting spray, and let's go into Top Story. So I placed this on the inner two thirds of the eye and I didn't go too far outside here because I might add some more dark color here afterwards. I just realized there's a shade I might be forgetting to use. It's called Apartment. It's like a really dark chocolatey brown. So maybe I will put this outside here and maybe then I'll just spice it up. Well, honestly, I think this is almost turning into like a mulled cranberry cider kind of look more than pumpkin spice. Whatever, it's still fall themed. That's all that matters. So a little bit of Apartment on this little tapered brush here. And let's place this outside. So with what's left of Apartment, I'm going to sweep it under the lashes as well. Now here's the thing, for the bottom lash line, I don't know if I want to go with the same colors that I used or go with the green, because in my mind like pumpkins are orange and then they have like a stem and they have like leaves that are green. So that's what I was thinking, but then again this does not exactly look like pumpkin quite as much as I thought. Hmm, so many tough choices to make. You know, life is so hard. <laughs> what I can do is use the dark brown shade Apartment under the lashes, and then also use a green liner. I'll do that. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and skip to face makeup and come right back. I'm back. Okay, let's keep working on the bottom lashes here. I'm gonna go ahead and go back into Apartment with this small taper brush and just kind of deepen that whole area up. Okay, so I'm still slightly obsessed with this looking a little bit green. So I'm going to go into this Chanel Stil Waterproof Liner. This is number 857 Legendary Green. I think this came out last year with their fall collection. It's just like a really dark forest green. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the bottom waterline. Now going in with lots and lots of mascara. This is the Dior Show Iconic Overcurl. So for the lips, I want something a bit more nude. I'm going to go ahead and use this Urban Decay lipstick. This is called Fuel. This, I think, was like part of their Naked Heat collection, but I'm quite certain it's still available for sale. And then over top, I'm going to put this NARS lip gloss on. This one is called Chelsea Girls. I don't know if you guys know this, but NARS actually makes like really good lip gloss. I don't know why they're not like that popular, but they're actually really good. All right, guys, this is the finished look. So I took my hair out of the towel. It is now clean and dry. So I feel like this look did not exactly turn out how I thought it would be. But I think I still like the look anyway. I think this look is a perfect example of when you have an eyeshadow look in mind and it doesn't exactly turn out how you thought it would, but it still looks cute in the end. To be quite honest, I didn't exactly have a clear, perfect vision of what this eyeshadow look would look like. I was like, maybe I'll use this shade, maybe I'll use that shade, which still ends up looking pretty cute. So, so I think that's all I have for you guys for today. Please let me know down in the comments what other eyeshadow looks you want to see with this palette. There are a lot of purple shades in this palette, so I think that could be quite nice. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of today's look. What other fall makeup looks do you want to see? Are there any specific fall themed makeup looks you want to see? Any reviews, etc.? Let me know down in the comments. Please make sure to like and subscribe and also hit that little notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And that's all I have for you guys for today. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.